All right, so I just got these new trucks from Hamboards that I'm looking at, and these are their new carved trucks. And these might look kind of similar or kind of familiar. These are kind of a remix, a redesign of the original trucks. And they have the original same kind of wave cam that the original trucks have got. And so I've done a video on the original trucks before, but now I've got a 3D printer. So I decided to make my own, I'm gonna start making my own wave cams. And my first wave cam is designed so radical and so crazy that no one's probably even thought about making one like this. And what it is, you ready? Ready? So what it is, is it's a flat wave cam. And this is crazy and radical because it's not gonna work very well. But it does make a very good test because it's really easy to make and easy to design, easy to print. So it's, it's a good test to make sure that every all my sizing and everything's right before I start doing something more complicated like an actual cam profile. But since I have it, I'm going to try writing it. So what the flat wave cam does is you're able to tighten it down and put pressure on the spring, but because it doesn't raise when you twist it, can I twist it with one hand? Yep. Because it doesn't raise when you twist it, it just stays flat, it doesn't increase and it doesn't have any feedback, basically. It just, it just has no resistance, really. It just has resistance from friction, and that's it. So, that makes it like a bushingless truck. And let's see, I just got this set up on my 2D Plus board, which works out pretty well. And I'm just going to take it for a quick spin down my usual run. So you might think that a truck without any resistance might not be very rideable. Especially one with like original trucks that has so much offset on them. But it works out okay. I think you're going a little faster here. So that wasn't the best video because of the bad lighting and the hard shadows, but you can see that it is very much rideable and it is still quite a bit of fun. So it does require um, a bit more ankle control uh, than uh, a board would normally need, but you can even see it pumped pretty well too. So there we go. That's the, uh, <laughs> the that's how the flat cams work on the handboard trucks so stay tuned i'm gonna have a video where i break down some of the uh some things about the cam and how i'm going to be designing it and what i'm going to be trying and i've discovered some pretty interesting things so stay tuned 